The F-gas regulations define quotas for how much fluorinated gases can be produced by manufacturers with the aim of phasing them down, step by step. In 2018, the quota reduced by 37%, and it will reduce again in 2021 by 55% against the baseline. As restrictions increase on the production of F-gas refrigerants, prices may rise and demand is expected to exceed supply of virgin material within the next decade. So, manufacturers must reduce the HFCs they are using and switch to gases with a lower global warming potential. And we must develop a more sustainable supply of F-gases for installation and ongoing servicing. However, the F-gas quota does not include refrigerant already in the market, so reclaimed refrigerant is not restricted in the same way. In fact, it has zero impact on the F-gas quota. That's because reclaiming refrigerant avoids the carbon emissions associated with manufacturing new F-gases. So systems that use reclaimed refrigerants can have a lower environmental impact overall. By reclaiming refrigerant, we can help to preserve the lifeblood of our industry and protect our planet. Many people assume all recovered refrigerant is incinerated, but that's not the case. If it is separated and recovered wherever possible according to best practice, it can be reclaimed to the same level of purity as new refrigerant. That's important because refrigerant recovered from a site can only be resold, passed on or exchanged if it meets the ARE 700 standard. Using certified refrigerant is vital for the performance, efficiency and long life of a system and to ensure the warranty remains valid. So when it comes to removing refrigerant from a system, make sure it is recovered according to best practice so it can be reclaimed to ARE 700 standard. By each playing our part, we can increase the amount of reclaimed refrigerant available, which will create positive benefits for our environment and our economy. Together, we can be part of the climate solution.